CSS Grid Layout uses the alignment properties that are part of the box alignment specification. This specification takes the nice alignment capabilities that Flexbox has and moves it into a new specification that can then be used with any other layout method. Ultimately, that might include block layouts, but right now it's been implemented in CSS Grid Layout, so let's take a look. In my HTML, I've got a div with a class of grid and that has four child items. And then in my CSS here, I've said display grid and I've created a three column track grid and I'm just setting a value for the auto created rows. And we've also got a gap here. And then I've placed some items on that grid using line based positioning. So you can see that box one here starts at column line one and ends at line three and row line one and ends at line three. Box two is here after line three and that's also spanning two rows. And then we've got box three between column lines two and four and box four here, it actually overlays. So it starts in column line one and on grid row two. So it's sort of halfway across box one there. Justify is row axis alignment. That's the inline direction. So if I say justify items, start, you can see these now all start at the beginning of their area. So all of the items are now starting at the beginning of the area. The area is still the same size, but the items are aligned in it at the start. And we can also say end. And now they've moved to the end. And we can say center. And they'll go to the center. And the default is stretch. So if you don't have any justify items property, the items will stretch. So in the other dimension, we have align items. So that's the block dimension. And so this is column axis alignment. And again, the default is stretch. So you don't have any change if you use align items stretch, but you could use align items start and end and center. And you can, of course, combine these. So these items are now right in the center of their area. I was using those properties on the grid container itself. So that was affecting the alignment and the justification of all of the items inside the grid. Now we can use align self and justify self to play with individual items. So let's play around with box one. So I could say align self start or end or center. And once again, stretch is your default. And we can justify self to start or to end or to center. So using align and justify items can give you control over where items sit in their areas. And that offers more creative control over the elements on your grid. You can see how different this layout looks by playing with these properties.